first thing I noticed about the Shanley is that the outside and the inside look starkly different. The outside is very unassuming, but the inside is like a time capsule. It takes you, it really takes you back. It's got a very, uh, a very lived in feel to it. Definitely has a vibe. The first time I walked into the Shanley Hotel back in 2011, it felt like I was walking through some sort of film or fog or denser air than what I had just come from outside. The Shanley Hotel was built in 1895. This unassuming bed and breakfast in the Shawangunk Mountains of New York State gets its name from its former owner, James Shanley. An Irish immigrant who had lived in New York City purchased the hotel in 1906 by 1910 was married to his wife Beatrice. The place became their dream. It didn't take too many years for tragedy to befall the Shanley Hotel. James and Beatrice wanted to start a family, but their first child, born in 1912, died at less than six months old. Their son James Jr. died after only four and a half months, and after that their son William died after around nine months of life. These people didn't have the greatest time trying to start a family. In an adjoining apartment was the Gregor family. Peter Gregor and his wife had two young daughters. So one of the stories associated with the Shanley Hotel is of a little girl named Rosie who mysteriously fell down a well and, and sadly perished. Did they ever find her body in the well or no? Yes. They did? Yeah, they found it a couple hours after she fell. Okay. Peter, his wife, and their little girl couldn't stand to live at the site of the tragedy anymore, and they moved back to Brooklyn. After the Gregor family moved back to Brooklyn, that apartment became a bordello. And that's why there are names above the doorways that say Rosie, Maddie, and Anna. Rosie was the little girl. Maddie and Anna were not. It's one of my favorite places because it looks so authentic and so original to what it looked like when it was in use. The first place we went and investigated all together as a group was the bordello and we use the direct link device, which is similar to a spirit box, but sweeps a whole lot more frequencies and not in sequence. And it's usually a very quiet device. And to our surprise, we definitely got several responses through it. All right. First session right here, tape recorder. This, uh, this sound might be new to you, but it gives us nostalgia. Can you hear or see us right now? Talk to us. I just heard something in the other room, but I don't know if that was like yeah. settling from heat or what. Rosie, we're right next to your room. Are you in I there? Heard it again. There's, There's, I heard that too. Are you hiding under the bed? There it is again. Yep. Yeah. It sounds like the bed. Rosie, come out here and play with us. It's it that it same noise, yeah. right? Yeah. Are you in here with us? Can you make a knocking noise? That was pretty, uh, What's maybe I do. Noise? Holy shit. I noticed a lot of dolls in your bedroom. Do you want to take one down and play with it? What was, what was that? that? Um, Put this on for one second. I'm just looking to see if there's a heat. What's on right the floor? There's a pipe right, here, right there, there but I just turned the heat way down too, so maybe it's like expanding Settling or something. Or... Can you come up the stairs? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy 
shit. That's on the stairs, and who's that talking? What was Is that? Is that right down there? That was like on the right on the stairway right here. Can you make that noise again? Come on up the stairs. Nobody's moving, right? No, no, nope. just my head. Absolutely not. Jeez. Should we listen back to this tape player? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Guys, it's a rewind button. <laughs> <laughs> That's a drop What is that? Oh <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> I remember those. It's a loud bang. Yeah, it's got a lot of internal noise. <laughs> maybe. Well, who doesn't love a tape player? Alright, there's some direct link maybe? Yeah, turn that on and see what happens. Rosie, can you come talk to me? Oh my god. You hear that? Yeah. On the stairs again. And no, I didn't heard. I heard some a little kid voice, and then that. Oh, oh. Is that really you? You gonna walk into one of the rooms with it? Sure. Walk around with it. Can we get in the Rosie's room? I think we might have heard her. Can you say something? On the stairs again. I don't think this machine is all that scary. There's a voice through there. Yep. It's like, huh. Oh. Sounds very female, very little kid. Alright, I'll try a different room. Heard it again. Yep. What did you do on this bed? <laughs> Are you picking up anything in here? No. I was picking up a little girl at first, but... Seems like everything was kind of quieted down. Alright. Shall we, uh... I don't know what to tell you about the weird little voice out there. Well, we captured it. Gentlemen, so let's move it downstairs. Yep. Okay. While we were up in the bordello, we heard some, what sounded like disembodied voices. And uh, the, the lady that, that takes care of the property and owns the building was on the premises with us, but she was quietly downstairs uh, reading a book. So she said she didn't say a, say a word. None of our devices went off. None of the devices that were on, like our smartphones, weren't playing anything, so I don't know what to tell you about that. This portion of the building was a gentleman's club in, in the Shanley's heyday, and as you can imagine, some pretty seedy things likely took place there. And, Perhaps we hoped for a little more activity than we got, but we did certainly get a few things. I remember being quiet the first time we came through. Maybe they're all upstairs in the rooms. A residual shaggy. A residual, <laughs> a residual shaggy. shaggy. All right. Ready? Ready. Ready. Yes. No more shenanigans. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Sal, are you here with us? Did you come down here to follow us? If you did, do you want to play some cards? If you're upstairs, come on down. Come join us. Who were the women that worked here? I'm curious when all this noise is like out there, just outside yeah. the door. Yeah. Same. That was behind you, that last one. Yeah. 
I've heard a bunch from this direction. Rosie, if you're here, how did you die? I know they said that they found you in the well, but how did you die? I got to figure out what that noise is. I got to take, we got to yes, look at the. It sounds like something. Yeah. Seems like something likes talking to Jennifer. Can't see. Every time you say something, a voice follows. You're making a connection. I'm away with dead people. <laughs> it seems to be. <laughs> I can't tell what it is. No. Nothing. A couple little things, maybe, but. Doesn't seem to be very active in here. That's because they're all upstairs getting it all. It's because they're yeah, all yeah, bordello. Yeah. That's what all the damn creek is. <laughs> We're like right below there, the bordello. Aren't yeah. We? Yeah. That's what all the damn creek is. Did, did the DR60 actually yield the name Jennifer out of it? You know, we can't say for sure. Yeah, one of the interesting things about, about the Shanley Hotel is the third floor is completely unfinished. The walls, the wallpaper is peeling, the, it's got exposed studs and old dingy rooms. I'm wondering if we want to grab a whole bunch of equipment and actually start to tackle that third floor now. There's a possibility that leaving the third floor unfinished could yield more activity and all the construction that they're doing on the place could also enhance the activity. Oh yeah, remember this? Definitely different up here, okay? Ooh, forgot all about this weirdness. In my head, this hallway was longer. That's the closet. That's the one. She told me when I came up that it slammed so hard it wedged shut and couldn't pull it open. Well, it was what, 2012, and we were in this room, and I don't think I even noticed. I didn't even take stock of the closet door. It was just there, it was partly closed. So I'm just standing here, you're over there, and it felt like something crept up my back. Just a, not really tingly, but like a staticky, creepy feeling that just went up my spine. And that's when you were like, I said, there is somebody behind you, the door swung open. And I didn't move because I didn't want to interrupt the activity or whatever. So I barely turned, which helped validate that it was opening on its own because we weren't moving. But that's the damn door. Floorboards it's, don't make it move. There's no wind. There's right. literally nothing. Yeah. What should we do? Spirit box? Yeah. Hi. I did you. Do you remember us from many years ago? Is anyone here who can speak to us? Come over here and try. Multiple. Multiple. Who are you? Are you Hitman Joe? Not sure. Where where did where did Clara uh, pass away? Up here. Where did that happen? 
a little tiny voice, almost yeah. like it said here. Yeah. A... Is there something here that can open this door? That was radio. Was the bordello a secret area? What was the password? That almost it sounded like password. Password or I heard also Cadillac? 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 Oh. The password was Cadillac? How many of you are here with us right now? Do you just make a light over there? Something light up? I think there's a motion light A motion there. light. Oh, okay. Who's walking out there? Motion light lights up a lot. Well, we did say really join us. <laughs> okay, that just that kind of startled me a little. Someone here? I got to, to walk around with Stacy Horton. Now, Stacy's a a seasoned investigator who I definitely wanted to work with and having her there and being able to, to see how she approaches an investigation was, was truly interesting. I wanted to just follow her around with the camera and not not try and you know interject and know what she was she was trying to reach out and, and feel just just to see you know just to see. I just saw like a black like figure walk like in the doorway and then back in. Why are you hiding out? I don't like this room. Oh, I checked it out earlier. I couldn't really stand to be in here. Claire's room is called Claire's room is because a psychic at one point said that the spirit of a woman named Claire hung herself in that room. We don't have any record of that. Hey Amy. She's calling you over here. Hey there. What do you feel about this room? This room is discombobulating. It feels, uh, doesn't feel right. This was the more haunted of Gives me anxiety a little bit. Yeah, it's a little creepy-tastic. Do you happen to bring the DR60 with you? I did, it's right here. Let's do it. Let's try one in here. Okay. All right, I'll put on night vision here. Ready? Yep. Ready. Okay, we are now on the third floor in Claire's room. Is that right? So. We believe so. Okay. Is anybody in this room with us right now? Is there talking out there? In the hallway? Yeah. Nobody's out there. I didn't yeah. hear anything. <clears throat> Listen back. Yeah, we'll yeah. Is anybody in this room with us right now? Can you make that bell ring on the floor right there? Claire, is this your room? Claire, is he down here? Claire, is this your room? Claire, is he down here? That was like One more time. That was like a... Anybody in this room with us right now? Claire, is this your room? Hmm. Not sure. Are we safe in this room? 
Is there a child? In it's got to be something because it's voice activated. Yeah. It should have went right to the next question. I don't know. Hard to say. It's yeah. weird that it's recording what sounds like almost empty. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. If it's voice activated, what's in there? Right. That's right. That's what's like. Huh. I just have, I keep looking in that room because I thought I saw a movement, but it could be. I mean, a shadow it could be from, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Could but be anything. You never know. But you just got to keep your eye out. This isn't the most friendly feeling though, but it's, it's not necessarily like the worst. It's just, I don't know. <clears throat> it doesn't feel right. That's for sure. So the DR60 is a, is a very controversial recorder in the paranormal, and I'm not entirely sure you know about all the things that come out of it like you see it on TV they pretty much roll with whatever comes out and you know it's a demon it's whatever you know because it has a very growling gruff voice but the things that that we captured up in in Claire's room weren't exactly what you would say class A EVPs uh, they could be the internal mechanics for all we know <laughs> They're possibilities, they're not answers. Nothing was definite there. So as soon as I went up to the third floor, I got a creepy vibe from the room that they called Hitman Joe's room. And uh, we don't really know much about Joe or whether he was a hitman. I think it's just kind of one of those legends that's perpetuated. We touched on a lot of different topics, but when we hit on things that pertain to mob, or prohibition, it seemed to spark some more responses than we would have thought. Can't say for sure what it is, but it definitely wasn't normal and it didn't show up on any of our other FLIR sessions. Alright, that's recording facing out. Nice and creepy, the way we like it. A little bit of FLIR. Did you want to uh, do a spirit box again? Yeah, I thought I'd turn it on again, yeah. We can hear you if you speak into this device I'm holding. Wow. Really? Jen heard something from out within the hallway. Something weird popped up on her FLIR. Said something ghost. It just said something ghost. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> How many people did you tell? Four. 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 Wow. <clears throat> Why? Because of money? Yes. Yeah. Big group might have scared it off. I feel like I hear voices, but I think it's just my I think it's just my brain playing tricks on me. I don't know. See, I thought you that heard too. Did you hear 
Like it sounds very distant. Yeah. And when we were up in the bordello, we heard them too down, downstairs. That I definitely heard. I, we, I, we yeah, all heard. that was weird. But, and she swears she didn't talk. Yeah, she wouldn't make the way she knows about it. Yeah. So she didn't blame her fault or anything? No. Nope. She said she nothing. That was clear. Her she didn't catch Are that. Are you serious? Right. Yeah. Well, it's the kind of place on this floor where it seems like something is like just out of reach. Yeah, and it, it like it knows that you know when you know it knows, but it's not. It may come not. closer when we come back in, in smaller groups, two or whatever, maybe even solo. Yeah. All right, turning this off. If Beatrice is still around, or Eleanor Roosevelt or any of the Shanley kids that died untimely deaths, we're never going to be able to figure that out for sure. It seemed like most of the communication that we had was of the male variety, perhaps mobsters, gangsters from from yesteryear who, who are at unrest within the Shanley. We can't say for sure. I mean, we really can. It's just, it is what it is, but it sure is fun to experience it whenever it, it decides to show itself. We don't go in thinking we're going to come away with solid answers. And it seems with the Shanley Hotel, at least with this portion of our investigation, that we got more than we thought. I think it's got some haunts. We're going to do the Estes Method experiment, so that ought to be interesting. Noise canceling headphones, blindfold, spirit box. Everybody asks questions and the person wearing the blindfold and the noise canceling headphones can't hear the question. They just say what the spirit box is saying out loud. It's okay, you can come through and speak with us using this. Do you know how?